All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wolf in the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is going to be a quick hit. I want to read a few verses here, 2nd Ezra 9, starting at the 15th verse. It says, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. All right. So this is the Heavenly Father speaking to Edris. And he says, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish than of them which which shall be saved so what comes to mind is the lord's elect all right this day that we're living in which is the end of esau and his kingdom his downfall as the scriptures were said in second Ezra six when esau fall jacob is up next that follow that we understand in these latter days the lord is not coming to deliver all israel He's coming to deliver who? The elect. So as he says that there be many more of them which perish. So two thirds of the Lord's people are going to perish. It says then of them which shall be saved. So this gives you the idea and understanding that the Lord's elect, the Lord's, the ones that's going to be saved is the few. All right, small in number, the chosen, the elect. Now it says, verse 16, like as a wave is greater than a drop. And he answered me saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed. And as the flowers be, such are the colors also. Such as the workman is, such also is the work. And as the husbandman is himself, so is his husbandry also, for it was the time of the world. Verse 18, And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live, no man speck against me. For then every one obeyed, but now the manner of them which are created in the world that is made are corrupted by perpetual seed and by law which is unsearchable rid themselves so when you look at the modern day okay of jake of the israelites you know they are what corrupted by perpetual seed all right and it says by law which is unsearchable rid themselves you know, so today is a lot more wicked than it is of the past. And the scriptures say there's nothing new under the sun. But what happens is today, you know, it's more modern. It's more sped up. You know, things are speeded up more than it was of the past. So it says, verse 20, so I considered the world and behold, there was peril because of the devices that will come into it. So these devices, you know, also scriptures say, man, sort out many inventions. So these devices that come into the world is, re is the reason why the Lord had to bring peril. Okay. He had to bring calamity and judgment. All right. Tribulation. Okay. He had to make an ultimate sacrifice to get rid of the wicked. Because the ultimate sacrifice today is going to be Esau. Being sacrificed on the altar. And the altar is Babylon. And that's going to what? Establish righteousness within Jacob. You know. Second Ezra 6 chapter says what? When Esau. Uh, comes out of power. Roughly paraphrasing. Then Jacob is up next that followeth. So through Esau. We truly going to know. Well through the sacrifice of Esau. And his kingdom. And throughout all his wickedness that he have done in the earth, 
the Lord is going to establish righteousness through us and we're going to know what's the depths of being wicked. All right. We also learn by our punishment and by the curses being upon us because of our iniquities and sins against the heavenly father by breaking the laws. So we have went through hell and back, you know. So anyway, verse 21, and I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. So who is this grape of the cluster? All right. And a plant of a great people. This is first off talking about Israel. But these are the elected of the Israelites. This is that cluster, that that branch. I should say, or let's no, let's use the scripture cluster. This is that that cluster, you know, that one cluster of the the, the grape. All right. And it says a plant of a great people. Because there's only one great people on the earth. And these are the chosen people of the Lord, which are the Israelites. So, and I saw it and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster, and a plant of a great people. Which is the elect. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. All right, so the Lord had made the elect perfect. And eventually, soon, He's going to make us perfect by the fulfillment of His prophecies. So we of the hopeful elect who are holding strong. Pushing his truth, believing in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, also praying, all right, enduring, keeping the integrity, being vigilant, all right. Those of the hopeful elect will be made perfect through prophecy. Because why? They have the plant, and the Lord said, He has made great labor and have made it perfect. Going back to the first fruits, all right, which is the first spirits created, all right, which was Yahweh side being the first spirit created, but then after it was the elect. It says, verse 23, nevertheless, if thou will cease yet seven days more, but thou shalt not fast in them. So, you know, that's going into Edris, uh, into the accounts with Edris fasting and getting revelation, you know, through Yahweh, all right. Bashem was shy, giving him the visions and the things he saw toward today, which is the end. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. This is a quick hit. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem was shy. You know, brothers, continue to keep praying, staying in the spirit, you know, and uh, enduring all the way to the end. Lord willing, you know, we'll be out of here soon. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem was shy, Bashem Makakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.